Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a hot topic, how to make money from an overheated stock market safely and just as important, understanding the psychology behind selling your stocks. You know, when the market is soaring, it can be exciting, but also a little scary. Is it time to sell? Hold on, or maybe even buy more. Let's break it down so you can make smart decisions without losing sleep at night. Section 1. What is an overheated market? First, let's get clear what do we mean by an overheated market. An overheated market happens when stock prices rise rapidly without a solid basis in fundamentals like earnings or revenue growth. It's driven by hype, FOMO, fear of missing out, or speculative buying. This is when everyone seems to be jumping on the bandwagon. But here's the thing what goes up fast often comes down even faster. In these markets, emotions are high. Greed can push prices higher, but fear can send them crashing down. So how can you navigate this environment safely? Let's look at some strategies. Section two. Safe strategies to make money. All right, let's get into the strategies to safely profit from an overheated market. One, don't try to time the market. First rule, don't try to time the market. Nobody, and I mean nobody, can predict exactly when a market will peak or crash. If you try, you're likely to miss the top and sell too late. Two, take partial profit. One of the best strategies is to take partial profits. If a stock you own has surged in value, consider selling a portion. This way, you lock in some gains while still leaving a piece of your investment in play. This strategy allows you to benefit from any further upside, but reduces your risk if the market turns. Think of it as hedging your bets. Three, use trailing stop losses. Another smart move is using a trailing stop loss. This is where you set a percentage or dollar amount below the current stock price. If the stock price drops to that point, it automatically sells. You capture gains while protecting yourself from a sharp downturn. Four, diversify into safe assets. Don't forget to diversify. If the stock market feels overheated, it might be a good time to shift some of your money into safer assets like bonds, cash, or defensive stocks. Section three, the psychology of selling. When should you sell? Now, let's talk about the psychology behind selling stocks. This can be one of the toughest decisions in investing. Letting go of a winning stock is hard but holding on too long can hurt you. The key is managing emotions like greed and fear. Greed makes you think the stock will keep rising forever. Fear makes you worry that if you sell, you'll miss out on future gains. One, set clear goals before you buy. One way to avoid emotional selling is to set clear goals before you even buy the stock. Ask yourself, how much gain am I looking for? What's my time horizon? Having these goals helps you stay disciplined when the stock price fluctuates. Two, reevaluate your investment. When a stock has skyrocketed, ask yourself, does it still make sense to hold it? Have the fundamentals changed or is the price purely driven by market hype? If the company's growth prospects no longer align with the stock price, it could be time to sell. Remember, you're not just selling a stock, you're rebalancing your financial future. Three, avoid the sunk cost fallacy. Ever feel like you asterisk have asterisk to hold onto a stock because you've already invested so much in it? That's the sunk cost fallacy. What you've already put in shouldn't determine what you do next. Focus on where the stock is going from here. Section four, 
Recap and final thoughts. So, to recap, don't try to time the market. Consider taking partial profits. Use trailing stop losses to protect your gains. Diversify to reduce your risk. And most importantly, manage your emotions when selling stocks. The stock market can be a powerful wealth building tool, but only if you play it smart. Knowing when to sell is just as crucial as knowing when to buy. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more personal finance tips and investing insights. And let me know in the comments, how do you decide when to sell your stocks? Have a nice day.